Hi there. Hi. Hi. Good morning there. Good morning. Um, I'm just here to get a coffee. Could I also get a croissant? Croissant as well, please. Croissant. How do you say that? Croissant. There you go. Uh, yeah, just that. Just that, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's a pretty foggy day outside, but I'm just kind of getting my getting my errands done early in the morning here. So we're off next. Uh, we're getting a coffee and a croissant as a kind of a bit of a morning snack there. Then we're going to head down to Springfield, get my hair cut, going to head over to the tool store and just get as many things checked off as possible here. Uh, let me just get something from the stockroom. All right. No problem. No problem. I guess we'll just go and sit down for a minute. I think they're just checking up the stock levels. That's fine there. I think they're ready. We'll just head up to the counter again, see if they've got it. Perfect. Thank you. Cross on. And a nice warm coffee. Oh, that's beautiful. It's really cold outside. I probably um, did not wear enough clothing for today, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. I can always head back to my house, pop back there and get a jacket real quick. $5. Wow, it's actually a bargain. And that's maybe their breakfast bundle or something like that. Did that go through? I think so. Green light popped up. Uh, hopefully so, and then we can head off here with my coffee. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Have a uh, have a great day there. Have a great day there. Oh, look at that steaming. That is beautiful. That is beautiful here. All right, push the door open and head out. Yeah, it's freezing out here. It doesn't look like it. It looks like a pretty decent day, but when you actually get outside, it's relatively cold. It is, it is a bit more than relatively cold, to be fair. Right, into the truck we go there. Let's just go and stash that in. We can put that in the middle. Hopefully, that will keep that upright. Perfect. All right, engine started here. I've been having some engine problems with this recently. It's fine. Yeah, here we go. Okay, it's starting. It's just been a bit problemental recently, you know, taking a lot longer to start. And Oh, we're stuck behind Valley Transit. Uh, I guess we can take a... Oh, no. No, they're okay. They're going through. We may as well just take this exit because that's kind of where I need to go anyways. Uh, so yeah, my truck, I'm going to bring my truck in to the mod shop later on and get it serviced and looked at. But I can't bring that in until I've got all of my uh, errands done because otherwise I'm just going to have to get Ubers everywhere and that's going to cost an absolute fortune. It gets me from point A to point B just, uh, I'm going to have a look at uh, upgrading my ride soon because it is getting on the older side. I bought it second hand at a sale for, it was really cheap actually, probably a couple only a couple thousand and the truck itself is over 30 years old now so it's definitely in need of a change and a couple of upgrades soon. I'm going to drive on the slower side today here just because there's a lot of ice around here. Roads are pretty slippery and uh, I've got my headlights on my fog lights on here because you can see conditions aren't perfect. It's not crazy bad. We've had worse but at the same time uh, better safe than sorry. Isn't that how the saying goes? Should only be about a 15 minute drive down to Springfield. There we go. So I do have a reservation booked, which is quite nice. It means I can just go right in. I've already prepaid and uh, just get my hair cut there. We've got some officers around. Oh yeah, Springfield. Springfield is actually looking a lot busier than River City today, which kind of surprises me. All right, let's go and park up. I would park on the street, but you have to pay a lot more. So we'll just head over to the parking lot and there's actually free parking. So um, lucky me on the Saturday, free parking in the parking lot. We'll just park down here. Easy to get out. Straighten this up a bit. Beautiful, that's a lot better. All right, turn that off there and uh, let's bring our coffee inside. There we go, it's still warm. That is great, that's good news. Okay, lock up the truck there, head inside over to the barbers, which is just down the street here. Couple minutes walk. Wow, some nice cars out today here. Is that a Ford? I think that's a Ford, one of the new Ford supercars there. Oh, classy. Very nice, very nice. Definitely way out of my uh, my pay, but very nice car nonetheless. All right, push the door open and let's go in here. Okay, I think we'll just take a seat or, oh no, we can go up to the desk here. Uh, hi, hey there, sir. I've uh, booked a reservation online, so I was just wondering if uh, if this is the right time. I think I'm a couple minutes early, but uh, should be should be relatively on time here. Yeah, booked a, booked a booking. I've got a booking online, so number oh yeah it uh hold on i'll get my phone out here gave me a reference number uh 714 714 that was my reference number it gave me i think that's is that the number you need i think so go ahead and take our seat there okay well that was quite nice actually we got here perfect timing and we've got a barber free for us so should be nice quick there nice and quick uh, yeah, I'm just really looking, my hair's a bit long now, so I'm pretty much just looking for it to be cut back and smartened up a bit. 
it's uh, it's a bit frizzy at the moment so you can probably tell but yeah i'm just really looking for it to be smartened up a bit uh cut down and especially on the back i think it's quite long in the back there yeah yeah really a bit off all of it that would be appreciated and then do you, uh, i think you have some gel uh if you'd be able to gel my hair like not crazy much but just into a nice place so it's kind of a, a small fringe at the front should be getting a nice haircut here after this head note to the tool store and then uh gotta get my car service so well, we're gonna pop back home, drop off the uh, supplies for we get from the tool store, then we'll go and get my car service, get the bus back home. We'll go and have a bit of coffee here as well while we get our hair cut there. Beautiful. Once we stay, once we stay still enough, then I think we should just be able to drink that. Uh oh, oh no. Uh what are the sheriffs doing here? Evacuate. Oh, what's going on? Uh what what's sorry, what's going on here? Let's just hop up here. There's a blizzard inbound. Evacuate. Uh, yeah, this can wait. What is going on here? The, okay, we've just got a bunch of sheriffs just came in saying there's a blizzard. What, okay, we've got to head over to High Rock Park? Okay, hold up. Got, got a notification on my phone. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, we just got an emergency notification. Oh, yeah, okay. I think everyone's getting a notification on their phone now. What is that? Notification from the government saying that... An official notification saying that we need to evacuate. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is real. Okay. I, I don't know why I thought that was fake. Right, it, it doesn't even look that bad outside, but okay, I guess let's go. Orderly fashion, let's just get out of the store here. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, you can see it. What in the world? Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just going to my car. It's in the parking lot. All right, we'll go head over to my car. It's in the parking lot, so it's just a small walk down there. All right. What is going on here? The sky is like a gray. Let's actually go and jog over there. I really don't want to be trapped here in the snow, so let's just quickly jog over there. Um, okay, okay, this is not looking too good, honestly. They said there was a blizzard and we need to evacuate. That is very strange. Like, yeah, it's a cold day, but it's February. Like, you'd expect there to be snow in February. Okay, I, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just get in and get this thing going here. Oh, come on, please. No. The one time I actually need this thing to start up. Okay, there we go, there we go. Got the lights on. All right, running, we're running, we're running, okay. Just a bit slow, we're, we're getting off, okay. Ooh. Yeah, this thing is having major engine problems. All right, uh, let's just get out of here and get over to High Rock Park. That's our, that's where we need to go, I think. Yeah, yeah they said there was an evacuation route to High Rock. So yeah, let's uh, make our way down to High Rock. It's really weird. The sky's like a, a grayish color there. That's so strange. I think if we join the highway, we should be able to see it should be signposted. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with Springfield. So let's just make our way. It's definitely over here because... You can see the mountains over here. It's just wherever the entrance is. Um, okay, let's get over there fast. Let's get over there fast. But at the same time, I'm trying to drive as slow as possible to not break down my car. Okay, and that is... Oh, gosh, that's backed up. Is that the entrance? I think that is. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. What is going on here? Okay, there's a line of fire department vehicles. I guess let's just take the turn off here and join this line. Oh, gosh. This, uh, this situation seems a lot worse than I initially expected. I thought it would just be telling Evan to go home, but no, we've been told to go to High Rock Park. I believe there's a facility over there. I, I saw it on the news ones, but that must be where they're kind of directing everyone over to. We're joining the queue to the car park, I believe that is, and then we're going to be... Or we're going to go and find our way in. What is going on? The sky's getting darker and darker by the minute. Okay, let's uh, pick up the pace here. So I think we're moving in here now. What in the world this is? I, I've never been in a blizzard before. We've had floods before. We've had uh, other situations, but I've never been in a blizzard here. They seem quite harmless, but I, I guess I guess not here. The sky is just turning grayer and grayer. Uh, let's just pull up here. I think this is kind of like the public parking. Then we're going to be... I think we're going to some sort of facility. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right. All right. In we go here. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go. So we're going to move my cars in. They've put up some temporary parking structure. There's a lot of people running around, kind of nervous here. Uh, so I think we're just going to park onto the back of these vehicles here. Yeah, I think that's what they're signaling for me to do. All right, let's just park in nice and neatly here. Uh, yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. All right, just park against this police barrier there. Lights off, engine off, there we go. Okay, go and turn that off. Um, okay, where, where am I supposed to go? Now that our vehicle's parked up here... There's a bunch of fire department vehicles over there. Where are we going? Uh, they're giving out care packages at the MCC. 
Uh, I think that's the, the, oh yeah, mobile command center over there. Uh, I think I should be fine. I've got a backpack. I've got some supplies in there. Well, not really much, just a water bottle and some bars. Um, so where do I, where do I need to go? Do, where, where am I going? Uh, okay, so there's some more people over here. Oh, matching jackets. Uh, okay, so I think they're bringing kind of groups of people down to wherever we need to go here. Okay, so we're in a group of four people here. And there's a lot of emergency service vehicles kind of moving around. So we're just walking on the side of the road over to wherever we're going, really. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I really wasn't dressed for this weather. Like, I've got a checkered shirt. I've got two shirts on, but that's all, really. I haven't got a jumper, jacket, none of that. So really underdressed for this weather and I uh, didn't really get a chance to go home either because I was stuck at the barbers after. Hey, you okay? Oh, someone tripped, someone tripped, someone tripped. Hey, let's get you up. Yeah, just go and lift them up. You okay? And they just tripped on a... There you go. Oh, yeah, there's some bit of time I stick out. There you go. Come on. Come on, let's keep going. All right, there's a lot of emergency vehicles moving everywhere, so I'm guessing they're just trying to set things up as quickly as possible. I'm not even sure the procedure for this here. It looks like we're heading back to Springfield, so I'm not sure if we're going to, like, a, a safe building in there. No, not sure. Not sure. But we're with the officers, so we, we should be fine. Okay. We're nearly there, nearly there. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see the fog picking up and up. Uh, I can barely see where our cars were parked before now. Over there, yeah, it was definitely over there around that corner, but yeah, you can see. Let's uh, look where we're going, otherwise we're going to trip over people. Kind of looks like a doomsday bunker in uh, my mind, but okay, I think this is where we're going to keep safe. All right, we're going up in here, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of emergency service vehicles parked all over the place here. Come on in, remain calm so we'll be soon. Thank you, thank you. Okay, yes, oh my gosh, I cannot even see off the cliff now. Going inside, what in the world is this place? Um, doesn't look the prettiest, but if it's going to keep us safe, then I'm, I'm happy with that here. Okay, we have rations forever and the news channel's on so you can stay updated. Okay, okay, thank you. Let's uh, go and take a seat, I guess. Okay, sorry, there's people, there's officers trying to get to supplies. I guess let's just kind of go and stand over here, um, away from uh, all of this chaos here. Okay, uh, want an MRE? Sorry, what's what's that? Oh, oh, a ready to eat meal. Uh, I'm good, thanks. I'm I'm okay, thank you very much. I've got some bars in my, my backpack there, so you can hand them out to someone else. I guess let's just head back to this table here. We're probably out of the way the most over here. Uh, how are you guys doing? How are you guys holding up here? It's uh, it's a chaotic scene to say the least here. Yeah, it's stressful. It's stressful. Uh, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Like, you know, if we stay in here, we're in the hands of hundreds of qualified people. We should be fine. Um, no, I'm good actually, thanks. I was off some food before, but I've got some bars in my back. But I'm not really hungry, to be fair, at the moment. As I hop to uh, Lips Cafe, only... It was probably only maybe an hour and a half ago, like... Time seems to be going so slow at the moment, but uh, yeah, no, I'm fine for the moment. We've got an announcement here. Okay, right. Before we go to sleep here, we've got an announcement. We've got reports that the weather is starting to calm down. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Then we can be let out of here. Unfortunately, we're required to keep you in here for the night. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. That's really good, actually. So, we'll check in the conditions. Okay. All right. So, apparently... Let's just go ahead and get ourselves into a rough, comfortable spot here. And that's that's good news. That's good news. Let's go ahead and sit down here for the moment. All right. Um, let's try and make ourselves as comfortable as possible here. Lying down in in the corner on a, on a concrete floor. Yeah, not going to be really comfortable, but yeah. There you go. Right. So they're just wheeling people around the place here. Okay. We've got ourselves a um, not-so-comfortable spot over here, but... But look, we're, we're only here for the night, which is good. Uh, hopefully once the morning comes, we let out of here and we can return to our normal jobs.